live, 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 live. Welcome to Cozy Reading Night. Oh, this is a good angle as well. Look, we haven't got a. We haven't got a lean in. Hopefully, everybody can hear us all right. Let us know when you're here. Say hello. David hasn't been given responsibility of the. Oh God, isn't that? This is so lovely and warm. It's oh, good. sorry, Minnie. It's, it's, well, you, you need going? to come more in the middle, don't you? So then you, you can be the star. Step. You are the star of the Put show, Millie. Put hair oh. on you. Don't fall off the sofa. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's all happening. Oh, she goes. It's all happening. She's going down there. She might Don't be back on. later. Yeah. She might be back later. Hello. Hello, Sigrid. How are you? There's 52 of us here for a lovely 52. Friday evening of reading. I might just sit like this. Would, would people mind? <laughs> if I was, look at me on the screen, David. No. Would people mind if I was like day. this the whole time? We're on quite the old delay here, aren't we? Well, I don't know where it is where you are, but it's turning to... Although, don't open that window because it's freezing, but it looks beautiful. looks like a lovely, warm spring evening, but, oh, it definitely ain't. Nice. It's super cold. Hi, everyone. There's so many people saying hello. Louise is saying hello. Stacey saying hello. Charles Heathcote, hello. Evening. Uh, Dan evening. saying, hey, everyone. Cheryl, good evening, guys. Chris Daly reading. Yes, yeah, so excited. Hi, everyone. Erin, happy cozy reading night. Oh, Nicola, hi, gang. Been so looking forward to this. Hello, everybody. I will sit up a little bit. Um, just, just at least to say hello don't to everyone. Force, don't force yourself. I will sit up a little bit. God, I didn't even... I'm supposed to open my uh, appetiser. I shouldn't be having this appetiser because I missed my um, Lanz Opera result this morning. So chances are this is going to give me right old grief later. But it's cozy reading night. Friday. Cheers. It's Friday oh, yeah. again. Welcome to Cozy Reading Night. It is the perfect sort of cozy night for this, isn't it? We're not allowed the heating on anymore because we're poor and we can't afford it. Um, so we've got, well, I mean, electricity isn't free, but it's cheaper than heating. So we've got my plug-in hot water bottle under here. And to be honest, David, it is doing the job, isn't it? I've got I'm cold warm. hands. But, I'm all right. Um, so we keep, we're keeping warm, we're keeping cozy. I know there's quite a lot of people out there who are currently uh, have COVID. So, so many people have messaged me to say, Really looking forward oh, no. to like tonight because I'm, I'm at home with COVID. Um, so yeah, if you are one of those people at home with COVID, hope you're all okay. Hope you're keeping well, keeping warm, keep rested, and get. But well don't soon. put that heating on. <laughs> yeah, don't put the heating on unless you have. I mean, Dave and I don't have the heating on that much anyway because we're trying to conserve money and bills but this week we had it on because i had a friend who come over who had a baby with her yeah. um, and i thought well i can't have a cold house for the baby oh my god i forgot what luxury it was to be in a lovely warm house mm. but yeah so tonight we're under a blanket we're not moving from under the blanket this blanket is from dunelm um emily's got covid There's a few people i think who've got covid hello your true shelf in my dressing gown here too not putting the heat on <laughs> loads of people under a blanket without the heating as well didn't know it was cozy reading night. Well, hello everyone. Hello, send to Quenta Books. Gemma says, hello Lauren and David, excited to join for the first time. Hi, cozy reading night crew. There's so many, 132 of us on the cozy reading night crew. Um, so yeah, what was I saying before I started reading everyone's comments? Um, COVID, COVID and car, oh, heating. Heating, yeah. So we yeah. haven't got the heating on. We're under here. We're staying cozy. Forever. The blanket is from Dunnell Mill. I actually bought it. I don't know what range it is. It's from. It's, it's called bloody like, cozy. Yeah, range. it's so cozy. It's quite a big one, David. If you just hold it up, and that and that also is covering our feet. There's no like. What I love about this is that it's a shareable blanket, so we can hold hands. But also like, oh, your hands are so lovely and warm, David. Oh, they? Yes. Um, but it's nice, and they've lots of lovely patterns. Obviously, it was a recommendation from my cousin Laura. What in my life isn't in co isn't? A she knows her stuff. She knows her stuff. It was a bit pricey. It was fifty pounds, but let me tell you, here she comes, beautiful girl. She hasn't got a claws back yet, so she hasn't got anything to grip on. There she is. And she gets up, so it coming? takes her a little while. Are you coming, my darling? Not on the laptop. Don't type. So many. Oh, she's on the laptop. Sorry if any. <laughs> right. If I commented anything there, that's uh. Yeah. Here we go. Hello, this is a nice surprise. I didn't know it's cozy reading night. Here we are. Day six of COVID for Zoe. Hello, Lauren and David. Needed a cozy reading night after a long week. Oh, yeah. Perfect timing for cozy reading night. COVID and pregnant, perfect combination. Oh, Megs. Um, bloody cozy, <laughs> bloody cozy range. Love it. Um, at home with COVID too. Made with books. Too great. Truly grateful for tonight. I'm waiting for results on a possible multiple myeloma. Oh my God. But ignore that miserable bit, babe. Um, but I really just needed this as a comfort tonight. Thank you. People are pleased and excited. Minnie's here. We're pleased and excited. Minnie's here because she hasn't been very well. She wasn't well a couple of uh, weeks ago, and we thought 
We thought that might be the end, didn't we, Minnie? But she bounced back. I mean, she's very old anyway. Mm. We know she's not bouncing back for life. But um, And we knew she was also in renal failure. But we got told today that she's in... Uh, yesterday, we got told she's in stage, stage two, two renal failure. Which isn't, obviously... I mean, we'd rather her be in stage zero of no, no, no. no renal Come failure. On. But stage two can be diet controlled. And she's on the right food. And her, her levels have gone down. So we're yeah, very pleased. drastically. We're very pleased, aren't we, baby? So, yeah, very, very happy. But um, she's now too old to go oh, under yeah. anaesthetic to get her hair cut now. She can't have her hair so cut this year. we don't know what we're going to do about that yet. We're she can't have, have to... her hair cut this year, so we don't know what we're going to do about that. But no, I mean... it might be a case that she doesn't get a lion tame anymore, but we just <coughs> we just try and keep the knots out of her. Yeah, so we're going to really start grooming her, which So we're looking love. forward to having a so, hand, yeah. hands full of scratches yeah, and bites. So we're pleased. We're very, very pleased. Yeah, we are pleased, though. We're very pleased, yeah. yeah. So could could be could be better. Like the only better news would be that she's a uh, a medical miracle. Can you feel that little tuggy yeah. bit there? She's a medical miracle when she's uh, healed herself. Of, I look like I'm Minnie's. Head. Look, I'm just, my body is Minnie. <laughs> you gonna sit down? Well, you get good yeah, good girl. Oh God, she um, sat down like a command for a, for a dog. Yeah. Lovely. So yeah, here we all are. There's 141 of us. Very much looking forward to this. It's a three hour completely live session and we're going to talk us through we're going to talk through what we're reading so this weekend uh, we're also filming a reading vlog um where david is going to read a whole book in a weekend that book david what is it don't do the same joke you've just done on the vlog fyi the start of that vlog is very funny <laughs> if i don't if i do say so myself uh, i'm reading the appeal by janice hallett and I'll move it a little bit closer. There we go. Which is a book I read last year and loved. It was one of my favourite books from last year. Um, it is plotty thriller. There's a murder that happens about halfway through. Um, you're following. It's sort of multimedia. So there's like emails and parish council minutes and text messages it. and uh, te like and it's it's just fantastic and a real page turner. And David's very much looking forward to read. The challenge is is that. David is going to read it in one weekend. And my challenge is, is that I'm only allowed to read when David's reading. So, yeah, so that's going to be a challenge for me. I normally read sort of like two to three hours a day. Easily, I'd say. Maybe three to four hours a day. Mm. Defin uh, definitely at the weekends. Um, yeah, at the weekend. So I can only read this weekend when David's reading. So David's about to pick up the appeal. So live reaction to his, uh, to, his, to his reactions to the appeal. And then mm -hmm. I've got here... Um, these are the two books that I'm going to be finishing off, but they'll also be, um, I imagine I'll probably pick something else up. So I'm halfway through um, The Sentence by Louise Erdrich, which is on the Women's Prize for Fiction long list. This is a book about a um, character, I forget her name, is it Tuki? Tuki? Tuki. Um, this is about Tuki, who um, at the beginning of the book is incarcerated for a crime that she did not know she was committing. Um, and then after that, when she gets released, she starts work in a bookshop. Um, and that bookshop is haunted by one of their old customers who was a pain in the bum. I'm enjoying it. I will be honest, the sort of spooky... You're not reading it already, are you? Oh. <laughs> the spooky, ghosty type side of things... Um, well, is is not quite as over as I thought. Someone's just said that it's blurry. Oh, it is blurry. David, would you mind just um, polish it? Because I've got mini on my lap. Would you mind just polishing the camera? Sorry that it's blurry, guys. We've also got it quite far away um, because we didn't want to keep disturbing it. David, just po polish it if you're wondering what's happening. Woo! I think that looks better. I don't know. Mine doesn't look too bad on here. It is an older phone, so it's not going to be quite as crisp as no, my videos. No, it's not, not full HD, unfortunately. But I think, is, is that doable? Are people pleased with that? There we go. I'll see what people think. A few people said it was blurry. Um, but yeah, so this isn't quite as ghosty. Um, as I thought it was going to be, it's sort of like almost like background ghosty. No, there's, there's no. I thought it'd be like an actual visible ghost. Not blurry for me. Looks great. Oh, good. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah. So that's. I'm halfway through that, and then I've got about 150 pages left of People of Abandoned Character by Claire Whitfield, which is the book that I'm reading for my 
um, book club with my friends um, and we're discussing this on Sunday night so I need to get this finished and this is a book I've been quite enjoying it it's um, historical fiction um, set during the time when the Jack the Ripper crimes are going ahead and we're following a nurse called Susanna who um, has met a young doctor at work and married marriages him she marries him uh, she marries him and has a um, sort of like quite a sensual and like like very they've got a lot of attraction at the beginning of their marriage but it quickly sort of goes downhill um and then becomes like a very controlling relationship and she starts thinking that he might be jack the ripper i've been enjoying it um but yeah i need to get that read so those are the two books i'm reading i'm not i'm, I'm trying to read your comments as i go let's have a look um I'm sat under a blanket, no heating on, stuff full of cold and feeling grotty, reading My Name is Leon. Oh, well, My Name is Leon is one of my favourite books, so hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll be reading Greenwood by Michael Christie. It's a family saga structured like the rings of a tree. The characters' lives are linked to trees. It's from Mr. B my Mr. B's subscription, and it's a great recommendation. That does sound like a great recommendation. Um, blurry to me, you woke a ghost in the system. Oh, I wonder, I mean, it doesn't look blurry for me. Hopefully it's all right, and we'll, it'll just sort of like drop in and out um so yeah so those are the reading plans you did sort of tell me a few of you said that you were planning what you were reading let me know what you're planning on reading so i can have a look and see what a few people are reading reading less by andrew sean greer i'm reading greenwich park reading build your house around my body tonight women's pride long list too love i read that earlier this year really enjoyed it i can't slow these comments down so i'm just gonna have to sort of pick what i can i think i'll be carrying my reading of ariadne but struggling to get stuck into anything this week oh amy that's a sh shame um, I'm yet to pick, says Erin. I'm 150 pages into playing Bad Heroine, so hoping to get a good chunk of that whopper tonight, enjoying it so far. I very much enjoyed that as well. Someone else reading Greenwich Park, um, reading Vita and Virginia by Sarah Gristwood, A Little Princess. I'm reading The Enchanted April by Elizabeth von Amin. Um, remote Sympathy, I've got remote, I'm getting Remote Sympathy out from the library, that hasn't arrived in for me yet. Um, I'm going to listen to some of Dear Mrs. Bird and then finish Unsettled Ground. Loved Unsettled Ground. First time I haven't picked my books before and going to look at my shelves now. Oh, Dan, how lovely. I'm working, but I work from home to enjoy the company and I'm looking to pick something to listen to. Oh, lovely. How nice to have this on sort of in the background while you're working from home. Would you like that, David? Nice. Very um, nice. Chatty. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I'm about a third of the way into Great Circle. Loved Great Circle. That's one of my favourite ones from the list. I'm reading Twilight, <laughs> she said sheepishly. Don't ever say anything sheepishly for what you're reading if you're enjoying it um i'm about halfway through sunset by jesse caden enjoying it very much so far i listened to the audio of that last year really loved it i love enchanted april good choice says dan um i'm reading the last neapolitan novel by elena ferrante silence of the girls estelle's reading oh sophie's reading i'll uh, leave the world behind which is something i really enjoyed last um year when i read that um i have returned to the series that got me into reading twins at st Clair's. my plan is to read one a month i plan to finish March book tonight, lovely. I'm reading One Perfect Summer by Paige Toon, catching up on the buddy read she's doing. I'll be starting The Island of Missing Trees by Alicia Shafat. That's our um, Patreon book club book this um, this month. I think I'm gonna have to get it out on Audible though, David, because my I don't think my reservation's gonna come in at the library on time, so I might be listening to the audiobook of that. I'm reading, oh, I've read that one. Continuing to read Manifesto on Never Giving Up by Bernadine Evaristo. I still need to read that. I'm also reading Great Circle, says hey. Um, Tracy's reading Once Upon a River. Um, hi from Victoria in, in Canada. I'm reading A Month in the Country by J.L. Carr. Lovely stuff. Well, it seems like it's going to be a lot. Sorry, Minnie. Seems like it's going to be a lovely evening for us all, doesn't it? Do you think so, David? Oh, I agree. Would you mind just going and putting my, my um, fake chicken burger in the oven and seeing how long it takes? I think it takes. I think it'll be about. 15 minutes and then maybe we'll read for 15 minutes right. and then we'll tag team making food okay, we're gonna have barn me we'll talk more about food a bit later on but david's um just going to put on the 172 of us here tonight amazing um piranesi someone's reading amazing love piranesi um i'm going to start the book of form and emptiness read that earlier this month enjoyed it i'm reading oh the sally rooney book what's it called b w w a y forgot i've completely forgotten what it's called and i can't turn around what is that sally rooney book called i don't remember i had the island of missing trees for two pound uh, two dollars in canada on the kindle a while back and i jumped on the sale oh amazing 
Time for a cuppa. I'm reading Dear America, but need to start recipe for Daphne for my book club. I'm going to warm up my pizza, book some food. Great night. Right, okay, so yeah. Have you, is it 15 minutes? Did you check? I put the alarm, I haven't checked, but it's about 15 minutes. In, so Should we put an alarm on? I have. What, an Alexa alarm? What, in there? Mm -hmm. I didn't even hear you do that. It's because you can whisper. And that way you don't have to put off, set off everyone's. Well, yeah, that's the thing. So when the alarm goes off, I won't say her name. What are you saying? I'll go out and do it. Oh, good. Right, okay then. Well, should we read for 15 minutes then? Um, yes. And then David can tell us his initial thoughts of uh, the appeal. Yeah. I'm going to start with, I think the first hour, I should really crack on with people of abandoned character, to be honest, because, yeah, I need to. Right, okay. So, well, it's quarter past seven now. Let's go in for 15 minutes reading. And, uh, Minnie, what are you reading? Yeah, let's go in. He's gone. He's started already. I've got to read when he reads, so <laughs> let's go. Just an extra little thing. The fact that this book has a ribbon library. Uh, you cool. don't often see that in fiction books, but it's very, very enjoyable.
Did you buy it? <laughs> no, but I went too far. No, she... Sorry, mm. Minnie. I'm just trying to get your tangles out while you're relaxed on my lap. Sorry, love you.
Is um is is he the one I should find annoying? Yep, I already do find her annoying. Busybody. Mm. Yep. I'm already like reading her out in a like an annoying. Oh wow, I can do this, I can do that. <laughs> Alexa, stop. 15 minute timer stopped on kitchen dock. I just want to finish this page. Oh, okay, well, I'll read for a little bit longer then. Davey's just finishing the page, guys. Wrap up. Yeah, all right, I'm done. How are you finding it? Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I, I was, like... I'm obviously still getting to grips with the characters, but you can already tell... Like, just the mannerisms and the way people are writing their replies. Yeah. And how, like, they clearly find um, Izzy annoying. Yeah. Because it's all so very much, like... She's like, I got this, and I've got... And their replies like, yeah, it's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it so far. Good. Are yeah. you finding it page turnery? Um, not quite yet. Yeah. But how, like how many pages so have you turned? So I'm thirteen oh, pages okay. in. But I spent a lot of time I've spent probably a good four minutes looking at looking this. Looking at those post it notes and yeah. stuff like that. Because who it, here has read the appeal? I'm interested to find out who here. You turned someone's telly off when you said Oh sorry. Oh, it's still saying that my, my it's still blurry. I'm sorry, Annika. I don't know what I can do about it because I'm watching it here and it, it's not blurry for me. Um, and I don't think it's blurry for for many people. It is an old phone. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. Lots of people. Amanda said, Izzy gave me hives. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> Lucy's read it. Emily's read it. Clara's read it. Kayla's read it. Long Tall Fran's read it. Annika's read it. Kiara's read it. This is my first time tuning in, but I'm having a lot of fun. So cosy. Welcome. Uh, Catherine's read it. Um, Charlie's read it. Eleanor's read it. Um, Blimey. Tracy's read it. Tra uh, Tracy Buchanan's read it. Tracy Nicholson couldn't get into it. Um, Harley says, I'm, I'm on the wait list for the appeal on Libby still. You'll enjoy it. Uh, Meg's read it. I want to see David's reaction to the appeal ending. We are filming a vlog about it, so we'll... Uh, have a look yeah, at it. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know when I'm in the Louise last has read pages. it but didn't love it. Hi, Lexi. I'm a bit late, but cosy and reading The Mercies. Love The Mercies. One of my favourite books from maybe not last year, the year before. Anna loved it. I'm waiting for the appeal to appear in the charity shop. Yeah, I imagine it will do, Charles. It's one of those books that um, a lot of people have been out. I bought. Shop. So this isn't the copy I bought. I bought a copy in the, uh, from the volunteers desk at work and then gave it to Ed to take back to did, China yeah. with him. Yeah. Um, and then and I then bought a copy of this for David in his stocking. God, you bought half of the appeals. <laughs> and I bought it for someone else. Didn't we buy it for your mum as well? I think so. I can't remember. We bought it for a few people. Um, I read Once the other we find something we like, recording. we buy the shit out of it for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Lost me a bit by the end. Very broad. Really enjoyed it. Re uh, re read it recently. Uh, Leanne's read it. Hi, Leanne. Estelle loved it. Ms. Megan, woohoo, it was great. Estelle said it gripped me. Naomi says that's a good tip about waiting for the charity shop. Nikki says it's a bit blurry still for me, but I transferred onto my laptop instead of my phone. It's better. Sorry, guys, I don't know what the deal is with the blurry. We, I only did um, Patreon Book Club on Sunday and it wasn't blurry then. And Oh, my God. Careful, David. You are the culprit of that. And like I said, I was we're, the culprit. Um, we're watching I'm it. I'm going to move that back just a tad just so it's not up against it. It's fine. 
Would you move the leg out? I think you've made the leg go in because it's a bit wonky now. There we go. Sorry, everyone. Lulu Bobble Bobble, Bobble love the appeal, so funny. Hello from the States, I love this chat, I love your channel, it's finally nice to catch one of these. Oh, welcome, and I'm on the laptop and it's fine. I haven't read the appeal yet, but it's on my TBR, lovely. Right, okay, right. David, are you going to go and make your uh, dinner? Uh, no, do you want to go make yours first, because the burger's done. Oh, okay, well, I've got to fry an egg, so I was going to ask you to start frying my egg and then I come in, because I don't oh, mind okay. time. You do yours, and then the last thing you do, just before you come out, put all of the chips, yeah, no, <laughs> no, just put the egg on. <laughs> What are people eating? Would love to hear. David and I, as I said, we're having barn me. Um, I'm going to turn my light on now and I'm going to talk to Alexa, so I'm sorry. Alexa, turn on living room. Is that, I'm just having a look to see if I'm, oh no, it's okay. Um, yeah, what are people eating? We're having barn me, um, which is for a vegetarian person, a chopped up fake chicken burger with cheese spread instead of pate, um, and then lots of different delicious bits of um, salad, and also a fried egg in there. Yum, yum, yum. Let's have a look. Palak paneer, self-made. Absolutely sounds delicious. Um, uh, pizza, says Chris. Chinese chicken and rice. Made a Wagamama chicken curry noodle dish. Lovely. Uh, just about to tuck into some rotini, Alfredo and bread. <laughs> Sorry for people whose lights I just turned on. Um, pancakes, chicken stir fry. Um, Mum's homemade sweet potato and butternut squash soup with garlic bread. Oh, it sounds delicious. Burger and chips. We're already eating a cheeky chili tofu stir fry, lasagna. Already had dinner, traditional Gujarati meal, mung beans, chapati, raita and green bean curry. That sounds delicious. Um, I had soup and a sandwich because I could not be bothered this afternoon. Soup and a sandwich, that's delicious. Um, I'm hoping to have a lovely pizza which is caramelised onions and creamy cheese, lovely. Bean and black, uh, beef and black bean with egg fried rice. Ate tapas earlier, now it's candy time. Chips and guac. Had dinner earlier and now I'm having some snacks, candy and crisps while I'm reading. Currently cooking chicken coconut curry. Need serious advice, Luca or Encanto? I'm eating a fajita. Luca or Encanto? What did I enjoy more? I think I might have enjoyed Luca more. I didn't mind Encanto. I was hoping for like a second Moana, but David fell asleep after mm. <laughs> it, so that should give you an idea. Um, now I feel like I want a second dinner. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was talking about food. We must be thinking it hungry times. And I do feel hungry. Lucas says, Charlotte, I wasn't hungry, but all of your lovely sounding dinners are making me a bit hungry now. Send a quaint book, says Encanto. Lovely, lovely. I've got these pyjamas on that I got for Christmas, I think maybe last year. Um, and they're from Next, but they're made of sort of like basically pure polyester. And they're always a bit sweaty and a bit warm. I'm just having a look. 100% polyester guys um, and but tonight because I wanted to be warm I thought well I'd wear them because then I'd maybe overheating them I'm starting to feel the old uh, chest pains from where I haven't taken Milan's opera all this morning and I've had a fizzy drink so I've only got myself to blame for that I have a hot cross bun for supper later on um, I'm doing soup and a sandwich as well I had plans to cook but Vertigo said no oh Harley um, I've got those jammies, says Cheryl Porter. <laughs> yeah, what was I watching the other night and somebody had it on? I think it was on like Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway or something. And I was like, oh, I've got those pyjamas. They're nice. I do prefer a cotton pyjama, but I didn't know when I bought these, when I put them on my Christmas list, I think, that they were going to be this sort of material. But yes, very much enjoy them. And I feel warm tonight. Um, have you watched the new one about the panda turning red? Yes, I have. We watched that a couple of weekends ago. We very much enjoyed it. Very much enjoyed it. Um, yeah, well, it's lovely to hear what you're all planning on re um, eating. I am looking forward to eating. Um, yeah, and it looks like we're going to be a good night ahead of us. I've just got quite a little bit done there. I don't know if I'll get either of these finished tonight. I don't know whether to do an hour of this, an hour of that, and then pick one for the end, or do an hour and a half of either. Maybe I'll do an hour and a half of either. I don't know. I really am getting... Uh, chest pains from where I've been eating this, drinking this, and it's, uh, I didn't take Milan's Opera this morning. My own fault, I'll have to get a water. I can't take any now either, because I have to take it when I'm not eating. It'll have to wait till in the morning. No more fizzy drinks, Lauren. Um, it's not noon in CA. Is that California, when you say CA? Um, so still on coffee only. Making my favorite green roasting tin curry. Oh, which one's that, Melanie? I love all of the green roasting tin. 
Um, homemade chickpea curry is long tall Fran. That's what you're eating. Delish. Yeah, there's over 200 of us tonight. Isn't that exciting? Uh, made potato salad to have with sandwiches for supper tonight. Love potato salad. Love a potato salad very, very much. Oh, I haven't had a potato salad in a while. I have to think about it. Last time I made one, I made a wild garlic pesto potato salad, which was really nice. That was very nice. That was very nice indeed. So yeah, 200 of us all here on a Friday night or wherever you may well be in the world having a delicious eating and reading time. Crystal, hi from Oregon. My husband and I love your channel. Oh, thanks, Crystal. Cereal for dinner, lovely. And yes, CA is California. That potato salad sounds fantastic. I've been so looking forward to tonight. All jobs done, ready to settle, just burp. So hopefully my chest pain will ease up a little bit. Uh, tuna roll and crisps. Bliss. Do you mean bliss? Or is bliss something that I do not know about? Um, my boyfriend and I could only agree on pancakes. <laughs> nice. Um, only discovered your channel a few days ago when I first, oh, when first bound up with COVID. Oh, Zoe, welcome. Are you new to booktube in general or are you, have you watched other booktubers and then found me? How did you find me out of interest? Always interested to hear that. I think I'll go and cook some potatoes, said Kate. Yeah, nice. David's taking some time out there. How's it looking like, David? Yeah. He's nearly there. No, you're old hat at Booktube. You just found me recently. Well, welcome, Zoe. Welcome indeed. Yeah, I run these um, seasonally. This is the first one we've done. I should, have, I should have done a bit more pomp and parade when it came on, shouldn't I? And said, oh, this is the first one of 2022. Um, because normally I try and potentially squeeze in a winter one at the beginning of the year, but just didn't get a chance to. So the spring one, this one is the first one of the year. Sometimes we've done them here. We do them on YouTube. We've done them live on Instagram before. I've just vlogged them. During lockdown, I was talking to David about this, like obviously the pandemic was awful for some, but David and I were saying a real highlight of our pandemic was doing these cosy reading nights every other Friday for throughout all the lockdowns, through the three sort of main lockdowns that England had. We did um, we did cosy reading nights every other Friday and it was so lovely and it always gave me something to look, sort of look forward to. And because people weren't really getting very social and a lot of you people here were, um, hadn't, spoken or, or were isolated on your own hadn't spoken to anyone it was always a nice sort of like something to look forward to where we could have a chat so yeah welcome to cozy reading nights they happen seasonally and then if, if there was a lockdown again which i hope there won't be um they happened every day every two weeks you were the first booktuber i found was random and so excited now i watch so many great creators oh brandy that's lovely i'm confined to my covid room so my flatmate is in charge of my food she's doing a grand job oh naomi that sounds lovely Best books of 2021 was recommended and I'm low level obsessed with those videos. Yeah, me too. That's my favourite <laughs> my favorite video. I love watching those. Um, I'm hoping to finish my book tonight as I'm going to the USA on Monday and want to have a brand new book for the plane and the horrific BA oh, chicken queue. Oh, thank you. Um, my kids, Faye and Guy, are joining in. Can you give them a shout out? Hi, Faye. Hi, Guy. Do, David, David wants to shout out as well. Come and do a shout out, David. Shout out. Who am I shouting? To say hi to Faye and Guy. Hi to Faye and Guy. <laughs> Lovely. Both of us. Um, they made lockdown so much better. Oh, thanks, Dan. I think that Dan is Danielle. Thanks, Danielle. Um, wish I could watch all of you, but I'm going to work. Enjoy, Tracy. Have a lovely day at work. And this will be here for you to return to if you would like to. Um, right, tag you in Fliss is my name in. rather than... Right, I've got you. Fliss, thank you. Um, cozy Reading Night was a social lifeline, absolutely. My first Cozy Reading Night. Welcome, but I'm currently watching Married at First Sight. Oops, going to start still life soon. God, Do you dude. want to chuck me the laptop up? Yeah, I'm just finishing off these before you... Oh, sorry, because okay. your eggs cooking. Okay. Watched you since the mini wallpaper, but never actually joined in. First time, lovely. I get nostalgic remembering the lockdown. Cozy Reading Night, all oh, that fell over. They're screaming and giggling, they're all over the moon. Oh, good. First time joining, picked up and finished reading a book last week for the first time in five years. Now I'm addicted. Right, okay. David is going to take over the laptop, ask him some questions. He's not quite as skilled at reading out the um, thing as I am. I'm not very good. Maybe we could talk about movies. Oh, look, literally watched the first video of yours earlier today, and I'm really enjoying this. Well, that's lovely. lovely Hi, that. everyone. Now is the entertainment. David, I've got such bad chest pains from not taking my Lanzoprazole this morning, having that fizzy drink. Have I you don't taken know what your I'm My Lanzoprazole? No, I can't. I have to take it in the morning and can't take it with, with food, so... It's my own fault, David. I'll be back in a mo. It's, it is your own fault. It is my own fault. Hi, everyone. 
and welcome. Oh, uh, Gemma R has said, David, have you watched Moon Knight yet? No, I haven't. I am going to watch it this weekend, hopefully. I'm very excited to watch it. I hear a lot of people have raved about, um, uh, about Moon Knight, so I'm quite excited to watch it. So this is, what does your T-shirt say? Uh, if anybody knows Radio Norwich, I'll be very impressed. Because it's from, um, it's from, oh God, Alan Partridge. I'm a big fan of Alan Partridge. Oh my God, these are all flying through. Um, will you vlog your wedding? Uh, we probably won't vlog our wedding. But I'm sure there'll be some lovely pictures and there'll probably be some Insta stories. Uh, Laura says, have you watched Batman? Yes, I did. Initially, I loved it, but I did watch it at midnight screening. So I was quite tired towards the end of it. I haven't seen it again yet. Initially, I gave it four stars. I would probably give it three stars. No, maybe three and a half. If I, maybe, I, th yeah, I think I need to see it again with full awake eyes, which I will do at some point. But maybe when it comes on to Sky, I don't think I need to go to the cinema and watch it again. Um, Becky says, hi, David, do you have a favourite 80s movie? Back to the Future is one of the best films of all time. But there's many 80s movies that I love, like... Um, I can't think of any right now, but like Gremlins, Indiana Jones, like, um, like <laughs> Star Wars. Why can I not think of any 80s movies? I love 80s movies, but yeah, they're all just great. Oh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, that's a very, very good one. Um, Brandy says, David, Luca or Enchanto? I think, uh, oh, sorry, Encanto. Encanto, I think I need to see again because there was parts where I fell asleep in the cinema, not because I didn't dis, not because I disliked it, I think it's just because I was falling asleep. So I'm going to say Luca for now because I liked Luca and it was based in Italy and they was eating lots of lovely, delicious Italian foods. Um, did you watch the film adaption of Never Let Me Go and watch it? No, we haven't watched the film adaption of Never Let Me Go yet, have we? Sorry? Have, we haven't watched the film adaption. Have we watched the film adaption of Never Let Me Go? No, we haven't yet. The trailer. But we are going to. Yeah, the trailer was nothing like I thought it was going to be. So it's going to be a bit crazy. But uh, yeah, we are definitely going to go and watch it. Uh, are you going to watch Secrets of Dumbledore? Don't know. I, I am half tempted to purely because I have a cinema pass. Um, so, but obviously JK's JK Rowling. And I don't really want to put any money in her pocket. But on the other hand, there's a lot of great actors in there who I really enjoy and I want to see them on the on the big screen again particularly Dan Fogler 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 I think that's his surname um who plays um Jacob it's been a long time since I've seen the second one and the first one uh yeah Jacob and I really really like him as an actor and I really like that character so I'm almost half tempted to go and see him just for him is anybody else going to go see it or are they all avoiding it because of um naughty JK Rowling um, oh, I've got to go, I've got to scrub back up. Um, what are you planning to read next? God knows. Oh, no, it'll be after this, um, because I think, I'm, whether you, everybody knows or not, but Lauren and I, we're reading a book to each other a month. Um, so we kind of, we, so one of us, we take it in terms to pick a book, and uh, and then we read it one chapter to each other each every night, and then next month's my pick. I don't think it's available Close. Oh yes, it is. It's right here. And so we're going to be doing Stanley Tucci Taste. Um, if anybody, like, if you're a fan of Stanley Tucci, I would highly recommend watching his BBC iPlayer series uh, where he goes around Italy trying all lots of food because he was, because uh, he's spent many years in, and he has family in Italy. It's a very, very good series. Uh, we loved it. Um, uh, what we got? All About the Page says, Come on then, David, what's your favourite snack and what's your favourite tea? As in tea the drink, if it's tea the drink, I'm just a straight up, like normal uh, Barry's tea man. I don't, I don't really drink flavour. I like the smell of flavoured teas more than the taste. I feel like the taste is nowhere near as more potent as the um, smell. And my favourite snack, oh God, that changes by the daily. It depends on what I fancy, but I do love an Oreo. I, I would never not eat an Oreo. Oreos are delicious. Um, oh, we got Alan Partridge, where did you get it? I think the t-shirt is from uh, Truffle Shuffle, I think. Yes, it is from Truffle Shuffle. I, I own lots of t-shirts from Truffle Shuffle. I've got like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one. Um, I've got a um, an Ewoks one, which is really cool, which is about saving the trees. I really like that one. 
Um, yeah, it's got all curry down it now, though, isn't it? No, not that one. I'm actually quite enjoying this, so I don't think we need you for the rest of the night. <laughs> We're just going to sit and talk about all the things that I enjoy. Um, how many books did I... Well, I'm guessing you mean how many books did I read last year, or how many movies did I watch last year? Books last year was 13. I'm definitely not going to get anywhere near that target this year, because life, because obviously COVID has disappeared now, and uh, life is back to normal, so I have to work a lot more. But how many movies did I watch last year? That was bang on, well, new movies, bang on 100, because Lauren and I do Same a 100 movie, we try and watch 100 new movies last year. I can't remember the exact title of rewatches, but new movies, 100, which was good. Um, have you seen the new Back to the Future Lego? No, I have not. No, but God, I know what I'm, I'm going to be doing after this. I have got a Back to the Future Lego DeLorean, um, but... I remember, I think it was when we moved from last flat to here, it got smashed, couldn't find half the pieces, so I've never been able to rebuild it. So it would be nice to um, maybe okay. get another one. Uh, have you seen this Back to the Future Theatre show now? I have seen that, we Dan. We have been to see it. We did enjoy it. Um, songs, not the best songs. None very memorable, unfortunately. They do play all of the... Oh, your bummy looks lovely. Um, they do play all like the original songs from the movie, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's worth it just for the effects and what they do with like the DeLorean. I, obviously, I won't give anything away, but it looks amazing and it's very clever how they do it. I mean, if you're a fan of the movies, you could probably guess what might happen. Cause, uh, cause, but they just they just do it on. It's just uh, Back to the Future, the first one. They don't involve any of the other two. No eggs allowed on the blanket. Oh no, that sh we shouldn't be. Um, oh, I'm enjoying this. Um, where is the D gone on the bookshelf? Was it Minnie? It probably it was, was Minnie. Minnie. Knock it over <laughs> to put that back up. Stand By Me. Yes, that is a very good for the 80s win. Great choices on the 80s movie. You definitely get my stamp of approval. Back to the Future is the best. Um, I actually have a Back to the Future clock that runs backwards. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Hi, David. Are you going to watch Top Gun Maverick? Well... <laughs> oh, God. So... Every time I've been to the cinema, because it was supposed to come out in like 2020, Even when we went it? to the open air cinema, David, they were showing Oh my God, they was, wasn't they? So yeah, so we've been waiting for this. I, I, do you know what? I've never seen Top Gun. People tell me it's pretty rubbish, but I am going to watch it. Because I, th I feel like I need to go and see Top Gun Maverick. But David, why have they delayed it so much? Just because of, um, I, th I think it's like pandemic stuff. Because oh. I'm guessing they're really hoping it's going to no, make a ton of the box office. But oh, really? I don't know, maybe. Probably giving it the chance to make the most money. But So I remember reading a comment from someone because they released like the final trailer from it a couple of days ago. And they said, you could probably stitch all of these trailers together and you wouldn't even have to go and watch the movie. Um, have you seen Morbius? Planning on seeing it? I am going to go and see it. He wanted to go and see it tonight. Uh, yeah, well, I just forgot. Yeah, I forgot it was cosy reading night. Um, yeah, you. I think you think you might come with me to watch it, might you? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a bit scary. Yeah, I've read some pretty horrendous reviews about it. I've oh. heard it's not very good. Well, that's selling it to me. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's critics though, isn't it? Critics don't like Marvels. Oh my God, this is amazing! Can't wait to see you soon. The Stanley Tucci. I'm, I'm getting into the swing of this now. <laughs> oh, are um, you? Yep, I am. So you just enjoy your bar your Barbie and I'll eat mine later. Can't wait for Series 2 of Stanley Tucci programme. was supposed to air in March, but they postponed it. Mm, what, Series 2? Yeah, I told you this. Did you? I, well, I apologise, I wasn't listening. But uh, Annika's told me. Mm. And, I've, and I've listened to Annika. Yeah. But that's very exciting. I'm excited for that. We're reading that book next month. Yes, yeah. This I'm, month? I'm, I've already told them to, oh, need to bring up old stuff. Sorry, Sorry, everyone. guys. Sorry. What's your favourite Easter candy? Just... Chocolate Easter egg. He's got an Easter egg to have tonight. I've got an Easter egg to have tonight. It's a little treat. Um, Nikki Johnson, what do you do for work, David? I work for Cancer Research uh, UK, the charity, and I am kind of like a video editor slash videographer slash AV technician. I do a bit of everything at the minute. They're trying to focus my role on video editing, but for the time being, I'm kind of dabbed a bit everywhere because... I'm just so blooming good at my job. Everybody wants to use me. So so uh, now that the pandemic is out, all the events are starting back up again. So I'm a very busy boy. So like, I'm away. I'm away um, like a fair few days over the coming months. But it's nice to get out and see 
because I get to, to see lots of people. I get to see lots of like cancer survivors, like cancer patients who tell us their story. It's a very rewarding job and also can be very, very sad. Um, Oreo's superb taste from a man of distinction, even better than in ice cream. Agreed. And also Oreo milkshakes. What do you think is going to be Lauren's best book of 2022 from what she's told you about so far? I don't know. Oh, David! <laughs> because she reads so many books. What and... books have I been really excited about? My name is Leon. No. <laughs> no, because you have read that. I, I can't the write. poetry one. The poetry one. Slug. Slug. You don't remember me going on about it? No, probably. But you do talk to me about a lot of books, and I struggle to remember. Okay. But I, I, am, I do apologise. Um, I'm a, the Lost Boys girl. Cool. Don't think I've ever seen the Lost Boys. Do you like theatre? What's your favourite plays? I do enjoy the theatre. Um, I've seen Lame Is a lot. My family are ma like mega Lame Is fans, so I've been to see that a lot. But now, like, I really enjoy like the Lion King. Lion King probably is my favourite. Makes makes me cry, and uh, and I really love the some of like the original music from it. It's brilliant. Um, e. T. E. T. is a great uh, 80s movie. Top Gun is amazing. Please watch it. I will watch it, Gem. I've only heard it's supposed to be... But, I mean, they people say it's cheesy, but, I mean, what 80s movie isn't cheesy? I mean, it's so much mini fluff over it. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> um, David, has a book ever made you cry? I don't think so. No, surely one of them must have done. No, I don't think they ever have. I do find it weird, because I, I also kind of would like to read... A horror book to see if I get because I don't do horror I'm a wuss I can't handle horror movies um, so it would be interesting to, to try and read a horror book to see if it makes you feel scared and if it this, if I um, can't sleep how's your bar me is it good delicious but this is out of date but I mean doesn't really make any difference does it? it's just pure <laughs> sugar Zoe says you shouldn't have introduced me to oh a couple of people have loved my uh, Alan Partridge t-shirt reference t-shirt and Zoe She's told me off because I shouldn't have introduced her to Shuffle Shuffle. Oh no. And she's going to invoice, she's going to forward me the invoice. It's, um. I will, I'll happily pay it. <laughs> it's the go to for sort of pop culture TV yeah. shows and. Uh, Dana says, Cancer Research has helped me this week while I wait for my test results oh. next week and they're fab, so thank you. Well, whatever the test is, well, I have my fingers crossed for you, Dan. And, um, yeah, I mean, as you can imagine with the pandemic, there's. Like, uh, there's a lot of people behind on, um, like, cancer testing and stuff like that, cancer patients. It's it's not... A, it's They're doing their best. Uh, morning from Wendy in Australia, David and Lauren. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Wendy. It's 6am on a Saturday. Question got, for you, she Wendy. She got up early to join. Oh. Question for you, Wendy. Hold on, Wendy. They've stopped showing neighbours over here. Oh, yeah. My sister and her husband... I'm massive Neighbours fans. They're heartbroken. And we heard a rumour that it's not watched in Australia. Now, you are just one Australian person, but... Yeah, I've heard that. That, that it's not very popular. Yeah, I, I didn't think it ever was. Wendy, confirm or deny. Mm. And what's the deal with it over there? Because I'd love to have some insider knowledge to pass on to my sister. Um, Alice asks you... Well, will they wrap it up then, do you reckon? I don't know. What was it, like, car... Carl and Susan, just like. Like, what know. will be the last episode, or will they just stop filming, like, and that be it? I don't know. Like, I don't know a way to round up neighbours. I don't imagine rounding up the whole like, Yeah, it's got to be hard. Isn't that a sketch from something when they say, "How does it end? What happens in the end?" <laughs> um, Alice asks you whilst you're eating. Right. Uh, Lauren, what book would you recommend as a hopeful, feel-good pick-me-up read, although not trashy? When you're feeling poo. Third mention of the evening. My name is Leon. There are some very, very heart-wrenching moments in there. But it ends on a lovely sort of hopeful note. Um, Miss Benson's Beetle. Also very good. By Rachel Joyce. Both of those are Patreon Book Club books. Big Bones by Laura Dockrell. I think of the books that... Anne of Green Gables. You'll oh, love that. Yeah. Um, 
question for the pair of us. Hey, you don't look. Oh, oh, I'm doing this now. I'm doing this now. Uh, what's a hobby you'd love to pick up? A hobby? Hmm. I don't really... I mean... I mean, you're, you, you do have... Like, you know, you're definitely... You're enjoying your crafts a bit more, aren't you? I've just realised I didn't finish my March craft. Oh. I need I'll to. I'll take it back. Um... I wish there was something that I enjoyed that was fitness related, but still to this yeah, day, I actually, enjoy running when I can be bothered to get out and do it. Yeah, I really, I love playing tennis and I would like, and I will be playing more golf this year. Um, Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Neither. Neither. Coca-Cola. Send me over the edge. Um, a... Uh, I'm gagging to hear from Wendy what the deal is with... Um, well, hold on. Hold hold that thought because you've got some, another Australian who's, oh. who's uh, piped up with a comment. Um, Hi, David. Are you planning on making YouTube channels videos for your channel again? I don't know. Honestly, I'm so busy with work and I do so many video editing jobs. This is it's so like... Nice, Good. It's like sometimes the last thing I want to do is make another video and edit it. Not that like I love video editing for my job and I do like it in general, but sometimes but you don't want it to make it your whole life, do you? But maybe I'm having more maybe in the future, talk. who knows? Um so oh where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? So Sarah Kay yeah. says, I'm not Wendy, thanks for confirming that, Sarah. <laughs> but I am Australian. And she can vouch that none of her friends watch neighbours. Oh, with a big smiley face. Ooh. And then she says, I heard a rumour it was cancelled. Yeah. So it has been cancelled. Oh, okay. And then Dan <laughs> replied saying, they've said Harold Bishop will be back for the finale. Oh, I bet. But isn't he dead? What, in real life? <laughs> no, not in real life. And then Dan's also put, they're going to make a big deal of the last episode, they said. There'll defo be an ending to it all. There we go. Maybe Harold what will come back and of? just, I don't know, to tell them they've all got to leave. Like, would they all, like, leave? No. What's it called? Ramsey Street. Ramsey Street. There we go. Right, shall I take this back, then? And then you can eat, and we'll do a bit of reading. Yeah. But <laughs> thank you, everyone. I've really enjoyed that. David very much enjoyed it. Because I'm not normally allowed to look at the comments. Well, no, because you can't do two things at once, but you are getting better. Hey, that's... Please. I can ask you a few questions, but you eat yours, but David is a bit more of a messy eater than I am. Um, EB wants to know how many books you've read this year, David. Two. Oh my God, I've just realised I had a iron brew at lunch as well, so that's probably another that's reason. probably why. I need to do my burps. Pardon me. Um, David has read two books, and they're both the books that we read aloud to each other. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro and um, Odd One Out by Nick Stone. Yeah. We started reading Snowflake. I can't remember who it's by. Um, it's an Irish book. And neither of us, I think it was because of the, I mean, I talked about this in my um, wrap up, but neither of us got really into it, did we? No. Um, and it became a bit of a chore. And I said, no, this isn't being a chore. Oh, Wendy has got back to me. I don't actually watch it, but I think the show is stopping production. I'm not sure when, but I think this year. And I don't think it's as popular here as it is there. Confirmed. I wonder if they'll come over Confirmed to Confirmed from two Australians. <laughs> but that is two not. out of the, I don't, what is the population of Australia? Um, what a question to ask. You just eat your sandwiches. Sorry, you I've had my time, haven't I? You love sandwiches. <laughs> what is, I'm absolutely high on life. What is the population? It was very Richard May. It was, wasn't it? Very partridge. Um, Favourite caffeine-free fizzy drink, Lauren? I shouldn't be eating fizzy drink, drinking fizzy drinks at all, really. I do enjoy a caffeine-free Diet Coke, but you don't often get them. You like apple tizer? I'd like apple tizer. I don't like it when it makes me feel like this. No, but... Um, you know, but that's because you're naughty. That's I can't believe like I that. had an iron brew at lunch and then I had that. I obviously wasn't thinking straight. And what else do I like that's fizzy? San Pellegrino, but it does rot your teeth mm -hmm. like inside your head. You can feel it happening. Oh, we like kombuchas. I do love a kombucha. Yeah. Um, kind of surprised you got it back, Lauren. Got what back? Oh, the, the laptop. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> everything since Harold's accident, amnesia was all a dream, and the whole of a neighbour's drama was all in his head while in a coma. Eleanor, they should he get in a coma. He was in a coma. He had um, an accident, didn't he? And he got knocked on the head, and he remembered everything, or he could he couldn't remember everything. Iron Brew. Imagine if they oh, make the whole of it. A neighbour's bouncer's dream at the end. He's going to be like Emmerdale. <laughs> a plane will land in Ramsey Street and kill them all. Sorry, that's dark. It's a bit dark, but I wonder where they'll go with it. 
I think there was something about Neighbours airing its final episode on the 1st of August. Last episode in August. Sorry, I know ridiculous amount. My sister is a super fan. My oh, sister we'll, too. We'll have to watch it. Population of Australia is 25 million. Didn't expect this live to be so Australian. <laughs> uh, <laughs> heavy. Do you like scented candles? If so, favourite scent. Do love a scented candle. At the moment, my favourite scented candle. And it's Christmassy, really. Well, me. Christmassy, like, but also, I'm... I love that, um, that, the pig with Bramley. Yeah. It's very really sort of nice. like, there's a lot of like fresh, it, it's the freshest smelling, can the freshest cereal, the <laughs> freshest selling candle, smelling candle I've ever smelled. So, so nice. Really, really nice. Um, anyone else getting some audio crack or is it just my end? New laptop having some teething problems. Oh, I hope not. I hope not. Um, what did you think of Never Let Me Go? It might be me eating my crisps. Oh yeah, it might be David eating his crisps. Um, I very much enjoyed Never Let Me Go. I've, I've read it before. Um, it's very bleak, isn't it? But I thought it was, a, it was very good to sort mm. of, because I knew where it was going, and I won't do any spoilers here, but it, it sort of like lets, it sort of drip feeds you. Mm -hmm what's happening because there's a big yeah. sort of event going on and you're sort of thinking oh well that seems weird and oh, i wonder why they can't do that and i wonder that you're you're, you're focusing on a group of mm. children at a special school a specialist school and so like the way it and, and me sort of seeing david coming to come coming to realize that and us it was really nice wasn't it, it was the first book because yeah it, it was good it was good it was good to read it because it was almost like we we're in like a two-person book club and we were having like oh what happened last time and what's going to happen this yeah. time and stuff that's like that. what i was hoping We've, like we've, every book, like but the second, the second one was more lull for us, wasn't it? The yeah. Nick Stone so the book. Nick Stone book is about teenagers all fancying each other, and there's so much sort of like slang talk and yeah. and stuff like that. And when David and I were reading it, like two people in their mid thirties, it was just proper lull. Yeah, but we had a good giggle with we that. We did have a good laugh, but there wasn't much to talk about. No. So yeah, and I don't think there'll be all that much to talk about with this Stanley Tucci one either. No. But eventually we'll read That's another super one. I didn't realise there was I. Obviously forgot. I told you. <laughs> I told you. Uh, Wendy says, I've been to Ramsey Street and walked around there. Pine scented candle is delicious. It's crackle though, I thought it was earphones. Late joining, how are you both? Hope you're feeling better after COVID. Yes, we're much better, thank you. Both, I would say we're both fully recovered. We That's had 100%. it in February, didn't we? It feels like a million years well, ago. Granted. It did feel like a long time ago. I think it was just when the laptop was on your lap. Maybe your T-shirt caught the mic or something. It's not happening since, I don't think. So you're not allowed the laptop anymore. Oh, no, the sound doesn't come through that. Oh, yeah, the sound comes through the, fo through mm. the phone. Sorry, I take it back, David. Well, mm. anyway, not to hype it up too much, but I think the film adaptation of Never Let Me Go is perfect. Such good casting. Oh, okay, cool. There's 233 of us. How wonderful. And I'm so warm under this blanket with this little bit here. Isn't this warm? Do you like this little patch? Yeah, I wouldn't want it any closer to me, though. Oh, well, then I'll have it on me. I was worried that I was hogging it. Never Let Me Go uh, was the book that made me realise I should avoid books set at schools. I really enjoyed it, but I couldn't switch off the teacher part of my brain. Sound is a bit crackly for me as well, but not too bad. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I can do about the sound. And I, I wonder, because this is, the this is the same phone that I use for um, Patreon Book Club. And they've, I've never had any complaints. Because we, we used to use my actual phone, but something on my actual phone is a bit rattly. Mm. So we stopped using it and used this one. Um... But yeah, there's nothing I can do about it immediately. I do apologise. Um, and, and there's some people saying that... This, so we've got like people saying the sound is fine, people saying the sound, uh, the picture's fine, um, and some people saying it's not fine. So sorry, guys. There's not much I can do. Apart from have a big drink of me water. <laughs> I'll be laying on my left side tonight. Sorry you have heartburn, Lauren. Ginger chews usually help me when my meds stop working. Thanks, Kate. Um, it's, I, I missed it this morning. It's my own fault. And then n normally, if I miss it, one day doesn't matter. And then if I have a fizzy drink, it doesn't matter. But I've missed it and had two fizzy drinks because I'm a knobhead and wasn't thinking properly. So I'll look forward to taking one tomorrow. But laying on my side normally helps. And also this helps. Having this like yeah, on here. That. Thank you, David. Although, I won't have it yet because I've still got weed. Oh, where did this come from? There's chives everywhere, David. Chives everywhere. Hello, Queens Joe. everywhere. I've been scrolling through Trouble Shuffle for the entire time since David mentioned it. <laughs> there is some really good stuff on there. Sophia wants to know if I'll go back to weekly vlogs. No, I do mean to go back to reading vlogs, but I haven't had a chance to do it. I am fil filming a reading vlog this weekend, so there will be a reading vlog coming up, and I've got a few ideas for reading vlogs. Um... 
but yeah, I, I do enjoy sort of wrapping up books like that. I hadn't planned on doing it in um, April. Maybe I'll do it in May and do the weekly weekly vlogs because it is enjoyable to do the wrapping up that way. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do it in May. Thanks for the thanks for the encouragement, Sophia. Sounds great all the way from San Diego, California. Hi to Finn McCall in San Diego, California. How are your rolls going, Dave? God, you're taking ages to eat them. And you can't, you can't eat and read at the same time, can you? I eat one, do some reading. Yeah, and then go back for the and second. And go back for the second one. Cool. Well, I can eat and read because I'm a very special girl. Mm. So I'll wait for you to but finish that. you can't that. read. No, but... Unless I read. Yeah, so I'm waiting <laughs> for you to finish that. <laughs> and then we'll do that. Mm-hmm. Can I drink, though, Will? You're not drinking. Oh, God. Any more questions for me? <laughs> David! <laughs> I find your reading vlogs so comforting, Lauren. I put them on in the background whenever I'm feeling a bit lonely. Oh, Emily. A couple of spoonfuls of Greek yoghurt is magic for heartburn or acid reflux. I get them easily Ooh, as well. I've oh. got some Greek yoghurt. Have we? Oh, no. Natural yoghurt. Well, I think that'll probably be all right as well. But if we've got some, I'll have a couple mm -hmm. of teaspoons of that. Reading Careless. Wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't on the long list, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Quite a few people I've heard say that, Jay. I actually bought it. It's one of the ones that I bought because it wasn't in either of my libraries that I use. Um, and I'm quite looking forward to reading it because I've heard that same thing. Lots of people saying I wouldn't have picked it up, mm. but very much enjoyed it. Um, Rebecca says, really love the reading weekend vlogs where you read for 24 hours. I've got another one of them I want to do as well. I did a reading for 12 hours in 24 hours, didn't I? I enjoyed that. I'd like to read for 24 hours in a weekend again. Maybe after David's weekend of uh, successful reading, you might maybe want to join me for a reading for 24 hours in a weekend. We won't focus on the state of him. <laughs> You've got a cold sore in your beard. Um, David, what's in your sandwich? I'll explain so David doesn't have to talk. So barn me, it's a Vietnamese um, sandwich made from sort of like fus fusioned with French food. So it uses French baguettes and in it they put weirdly pate, so pork liver pate, pork pate. I don't know what that's called, Brussels pate? I think that might be that. Um, and then they have like cold cuts and then sort of like the more Vietnamese herbs and crunchy veg that you might associate with like summer rolls or something. So bits of carrot, cucumber, mint, coriander, chives. Um, I've got radishes in mine as well. But you, have, um, you haven't got, we haven't got pate. But we haven't got pate because I don't <laughs> eat meat. We've got the, the alternative, the vegetarian alternative they give is spreadable cheese, which normally we buy the primula stuff, which is like really salty and delicious. They didn't add that today. Well, they did have it, but they only had the one with ham wow. in it. So we just had, so we've got Dairy Lee. <laughs> um, in one of mine, I had a fried egg with all the veg that I've mentioned, plus sweet chilli sauce. And then in this one I'm about to eat, it's got a um, chopped up uh, vegetarian chicken burger. But David has real life chicken plus coleslaw in his, like ranch salad. Mm -hmm. Um, Plus yeah. some chives and some radishes and some string onions. Two people asked about um, what you were eating. Tips for starting an in-person book club with friends who don't read that much. I'm glad you are. So what I would say is that you all put forward a book. So if you've got a group of four, four or five of you, I asked everyone to put forward a book. A great book to start with probably would be a book like My Name is Leon. <laughs> Fourth mention of it tonight. Very good sort of book. Lots to talk about. Um, lots to maybe relate to or lots to not relate to. Um, another one is, that I always said was very good for books. Oh my God, what's it called? It's got an amazing front cover about, what's that book called guys? You'll all know, you're bookish people. About um, a woman, a white woman, who's a sort of like influencer and she hires a black girl to look after her baby. Um, and one night she's in a store with the baby and the police officer comes over and he's like, why have you got that baby with you? Kylie Reid. It's by Kylie Reid. What's it called? It's got an unusual title. Such a fun age. Thank you, Kiara. Such a fun age. Um, yeah, so one of those two books, there's a lot to discuss there, lots to chat about. Um, but yeah, I think if, if you've got friends who aren't that into reading and you want to start a book club, then make it like... <coughs> Highlight the bits that aren't bookish. So like when I used to do my book club at work, we used to take it in turns to make or bring cake. So that was really nice as well. So you'd have like a little catch up and a bit of cake at the beginning. Um, and then also maybe have a section where you don't talk about the particular book. You maybe talk about things that you like in books and stuff like that. And then you can maybe tailor future book clubs based on what those people have said. Hopefully that'll be helpful to you. Um, 
are you planning to go back to Leeds Castle soon? I love seeing your vlogs around there in different seasons. I went there years ago and I'm hoping to go again this year. <coughs> Annika, yeah, we haven't been we haven't been this year, have we? No. We've we got passes that run out. Like in um, June? Yeah, in June. And we don't think we're going to renew them just because we haven't been as much this year as we ordinarily would. No. If we go back, we'll... well if we I mean, go back, we will... If you go back, you have to buy a yearly ticket anyway. Yeah, so. I don't know if we go back. But we, we should go back and vlog it again. We had a lovely mm. time around there at Christmas, didn't we? We went with we my did. niece. Um, and we'll probably try and go to, I mean, but you, you don't need a ticket for this, but we'll probably try and go to an open air cinema. Yeah, again we had a lovely time that there. first year when we when we first joined and then it was COVID. That was another nice thing about the lockdown is that when we went back to Leeds Castle, it was like, because we don't have a garden, it was really nice to take a blanket. And we just spent like hours there reading, didn't mm. we? Do you remember you were reading Queenie? And you had to pre-book it. So it was, it was never busy. They stayed and it was lovely, lovely and quiet. Lovely. Okay, cool. I'm ready to do some reading. Yeah, I think so as well. Emily's just said, talking about that Primula cheese is reminding me of the Christmas buffet video where your sister bought the cheesy profiteroles were like pus. Oh. Another story. Because um, we bought two packs of those because I was so certain that those cheesy profiteroles are going to be delicious. We froze the other pack and then we had them um, for Mother's Day, didn't we? And my dad loved Day, yeah. them. Oh, yeah. We absolutely yeah, literally, loved them. Yeah, your dad, ate, I, th I think your sister had a couple and he ate like the other ten. Cool. We loved them. Should we go for a 20 minute reading sesh? So it's about quarter past eight. Let's go for 20 minutes because I think in a three hour session we should be reading for at the very least an, an hour. hour. And we've, already, we've only read 15 minutes so far. So let's go for 20 minutes mm -hmm. um, and we'll I'll, I'll give everyone a shout at 25 to nine. How does that sound? Let's do it. I need some dinner. I'm not gonna move that. I'm going to be eating and reading at the same time for those who, who like multitasking. I reckon. This is. Oh no. This <laughs> is. God, this is going to be hard to eat though. I'm going to start from this end. Minnie's Charlie. Is, is he going to make it? Come on. Well yeah. done. Yeah, well, look at me. Mid dinner. You won't like any of that. Bye, Annika. See you soon. Oh, I didn't need to spend all that time looking at those. Um... I was telling you. Yeah, you got the. I'm getting so much. The fairway. Staring up my nose.
wouldn't you leave? <laughs> oh, James, I know your niece has been diagnosed with a horrible brain cancer, but I should be recast <laughs> in pages <laughs> Honestly, your description of of what I would think about, like, I would be very annoyed, but I'd enjoy being annoyed about it, is absolutely spot on. No I'm gonna enjoy for the next like 400 and all all this eye rolling. I'm gonna get out. It's gonna be lovely. Nice. What was your favourite one, the chicken or the egg? Not the chicken first one. the chicken or the egg. Mm, what, what, or the fake chicken or the egg. What was your favourite? Mm. 
the egg was more manageable when my jaw hurt less at that <laughs> time. So maybe the egg. Just maybe the egg. Both delicious though. I tell you what, I'm loving this. Good. So much dairy on my nose.
perfect. I almost need to, get, I almost need to print out this list. Well, you keep going, but I kept going back to it as well. Yeah. Do you want a little tab to put on it? Oh yeah, that would be lovely, please. Thanks, bub. That'd be cool. What colour? Um, yellow, please. That's a bloody great idea, bub. Thank you. That's why I'm a professional reader. That is why you're a professional reader. I think, I think I'm getting there with them. But it's just it's, occasionally it'll pop up and I'll be like, ooh. Oh, that's... I forgot I've got my hand back. Patent. Bloody hell, they certainly go into action quick, don't they? Do you want to um, find somewhere to stop, David? Yeah, just let me read these next two emails. First of all, let me find out. I think I've seen Joyce before pop up. Right, okay. Joyce, not bad. Right, <laughs> there. How many pages have you read, David? Uh, 36. And how are you finding it? Loving it. 
You really enjoy it. Yeah. What do you like about it? It's just, oh my god, like, because you know I'm, a, I, I like a bit of a gossip. <laughs> And I like to be nosy. I knew you'd love it. It's very and nosy. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah, I just feel like I shouldn't be reading this, and I am, and I think it's brilliant. What bits do you like the most? The emails or the... Uh, I haven't had done that many text conversations yet. It's mainly been emails so far. Mm. But I just love how, like, how many eye rolls I've done at Izzy already. Yeah. She like she's my favourite character Good. because I'm already so annoyed by. <laughs> Good. Well, it looks as though he's enjoying it, then, yeah, guys. It's, it's definitely a winner. I thought you would enjoy it. So he's going to eat his second bar me. I had somebody just ask, "What are you reading?" You didn't catch what you were reading. I've been reading "People of Abandoned Character" by Claire Whitfield, which is a historical fiction book um, about. Well, it's 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 much more readable than any other historical fiction I've ever read. Um, <laughs> and roving readers just said that you're moving it up the, the people's tbrs <laughs> um and this is about um a woman um who is working as a nurse and marries um a young attractive doctor who works in the hospital that she works at um and their marriage is very sort of like passionate and all encompassing to start with and then gradually they sort of fall out of um love or lust and she begins to suspect that he might well be jack the ripper <laughs> interesting that's what i've been reading for the first half I thought something in me too. I think it's a bit of mint. Um, and now we're into the second half of the evening because it's, well, done. we've done 35 minutes of reading and uh, we're an hour we're and an hour. 38 in, minutes into it. <laughs> um, and now the second half of the evening, I'm going to read uh, the sentence. Is there room down there on the floor? There isn't. There will be in a minute. If you just pop it there, I'm going to take, I'll take. i take it all out when I'm done. And make a cup of tea. Yeah, well. Or should I go make it? I know. Oh, I've got got that bit of mint out. Lovely, oh, everyone. So, thanks, guys, for supporting me through it. Um, and then I'm <laughs> about to start reading because I've already I'm halfway through this. This is the sentence by Louise Erdrich, um, which is about a woman called Dookie who, um, after serving a uh, prison sentence, the sentence for a crime that she didn't really know she was committing, she now has a job in a um, in a bookshop. And that bookshop is haunted by one of the people who used to shop in that bookshop. What I will say about this, I didn't realise that it was so sort of relevant. We're actually into COVID now. What? Yeah. What? And there's a lot of um, native... I didn't realise that Louise Erdrich was um, a Native American. And there's a lot in there about different... I, wow. I don't know if the word is tribes. I think it might be tribes. If it's not and you know, then please do um, correct me. Um, but yeah, interesting, very interesting. So looking forward to that. Um, I love the appeal, and you should read Good Girl, Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson, as it has text in it. It's good. Oh, cool. good. I've seen that. Um, I've seen the front cover of that a lot. Um, yeah. I imagine that will be quite easily got from the library. Yeah, Raven Reader that. says, "All oh, sounds good." I'm reading Never Anyone But You by Rupert Thompson. Have you read the five? Yeah, I listened to the audiobook of it a couple of years ago and I really liked it. And I actually got a copy of, a, a paperback copy, almost brand new paperback copy from my community library, which I meant to read um, because I'd enjoyed the audiobook so much. But maybe I'll go back to the audiobook. I really found it interesting. And you're right, it's about the women killed by Jack the Ripper and their lives before they were murdered, which I've very much enjoyed. Like a, a, when, when this got put up for um, book clubs, it was a choice because we do it um we we offer so everyone takes a turn to pick a book and we always offer two choices and it was either that or reputation by lex, lex croucher and i was the only one that voted for reputation by lex croucher i didn't vote for people of abandoned character because sometimes i feel like the sort of hype and everything around jack the ripper is very much um centered on him being a horrific murderer and these poor women who were murdered and just trying to sort of live their lives often get forgotten about so when i read and, and, and the whole thing is sort of glamorised, which is grim. Um, so when I read The Five, I really, really loved that because it was about the women and their lives before it because their lives ended prematurely at the hands of a murderer, but they had lives up until that part, so I very much enjoyed that. And he is barely even mentioned, which is lovely. So I was a bit nervous to read that, but it's, it's okay. Do you know what? I'm ever so sorry. I wasn't well, listening to the words of that. You are just thinking about the book? I was just thinking about the book. <laughs> It was sudden, like, David I don't know, like, like I almost kind of, like, done that, as if to be like... What are you thinking? Just, like, is it, is he? What, that is the murderer? 
Do you know who's murdered? I no, not yet. So it's all very exciting. Very exciting. Look at your little face, so cute. Um, the five are so good. Um, and Roven uh, Reader is agreeing. And Cheryl was also saying, loved the five. So yeah, very much enjoyed that. It's a very, very good, and I really enjoyed the audio book of it as well. I must read the other book Hallie Rubenhold did. That was a uh, non-fiction history book about a group of women, but I can't remember which group of women. Edwardian maybe or something? Um, hello Robin from Arizona, reading The Rising Tide and listening to Slow Horses, trying to finish before watching the show. Oh, I've not even heard of Slow Horses. Very enjoyable. How's your role going? Are you just thinking oh, about the so book? so nice. Really good. I'm really looking forward to a nice cup of tea, David. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stretch my legs out, but I've got my little my little baby cat here that you can't see. So she's going to be cross when I do this. And she's uh, she's having a little bit of a snore, actually, which is very cute. Are you warm enough, David? Yeah, I'm lovely. Oh, I needed to stretch <laughs> those legs out. I don't read murder mysteries, but the appeal is interesting me. Yeah, I think it is really, it sort of it sets itself aside from, I'd never really read anything like it. And when people ask me, like, if you've loved the appeal, what should you read? I can't really think of anything to, to, to liken sure, it to. Sure, I mean. Because it's so Every original. book that I enjoy, I immediately think, when is he going to make it to a TV show? Film? But I wonder how they could do it. Because it's all... It's the the, the, no, just, the enjoyment no, of it is is unfolding in front of you. It almost doesn't need a TV series. That's true, but they could like pull out information from the emails and have you know they could do things like um, like when they when they're rehearsing for the play, they can take snippets from that. Yeah, but I love the I love the sort of like you're finding stuff out as as the the law students are, or the solicitors oh, are. Yeah. are. They law students or solicitors for me and. I um, I've, you forgot about them. I don't care about them. <laughs> Oh, there we go. He doesn't care about them. Uh, I'm now switching to The Fortnight in September by R.C. Sheriff. Oh, What's God. her other one like? The Twyford oh, Code. I vaguely remember you didn't enjoy it. Yeah, I didn't fucking enjoy it at all. In fact, I... Excuse me. I, I hated it. The Twyford Code. I was so, so excited about it. And it's always a bit awkward when you request a proof copy of a book and then you fucking hate it. <laughs> because then you have to sort of be like... What did you hate? The second Janice Hallett book. Is it Janice Hallett? Or is Janice Hadlow the person who wrote that? No, he's right. Confused. Janice Hadlow is the person who wrote the other Bennett sister. David, you take my oh. original sweet chilli sauce that's got that's out yeah. today. Oh, his legs gone. God, my legs actually gone. Pop out, would you? And um, if oh. your leg starts working, I'll have a cup of tea. Yeah, that's what I'm there. I didn't enjoy it. Other people have very much enjoyed it. Um, so don't take my word for it. But I loved. I think. I think it's also tied up with the fact that I loved. Um, the appeal so much, but I read the, a proof copy of um, the Twyford Code, which is written as a, what's the word I'm thinking of? Transcription of voice notes that someone has left on a iPhone. So there's a lot of like, so for instance, one of the, so one of the characters is called Miss Isles and because it's a transcription of a voice note. Her name appears as Missiles. And the same, a lot of it is set in Bournemouth, which is a place in the UK, a seaside town. And a lot of the time that is referred to as Bournemouth and things like that. So I found that very sort of like disjointed and wondered if that would come in at some point. And in some ways it does, but it was very, very convoluted and it didn't grab me as much as the appeal did. And by the time we got to the sort of reveal at the end, which was clever, I had lost all interest in it. And yeah, I was just so disappointed. So I didn't love it, but other people have very much enjoyed it. So don't take my word for it, but I definitely, I wouldn't feel comfortable recommending it, having loved the appeal so much. I found it a bit, well, I found it too, too confusing, too long and a very jarring read, to be honest. I wonder what it would be like to listen to it as an audio. I wonder layers to it there is um just finished lunch tandoori artichoke veggie burgers with curry mustard oh hello tandoori artichoke veggie burgers delicious i did some nice by the way our <laughs> recipe section i did some lovely like when we had david's family round for mother's day we, we had pizzas but i did some like little picky bits beforehand and one of the recipes i did was from jamie's together which is a book 
which previously I've sort of slagged off a bit, but I've used it for both Mother's Day banquets, let's say. One of the things we did was a jar of artichokes chopped into three and then fry that off with mint and a bit of garlic. It was so delicious. And I literally had a jar of artichokes in my cupboard and it was so, so nice. I would definitely make that again. And then I just had leftovers for days afterwards. It was so, so nice. Um, so yeah, I'm a big artichoke fan, but only ever when they're in jars because I bought an artichoke before and I didn't know what the fuck to do with it because <laughs> it was just, you can't eat any of the outside bit can you when I peeled everything off there was literally like nothing left so I found it very difficult Roman Reader says that that sounds amazing yeah it, it really was amazing I'm so excited about my cup of tea I've also got a mango and a passion fruit don't want to leave it too late if I'm already in this much amount of pain I've got underneath ooh, flashing oh there is a bit of boob there so um, I've got my hot water bottle under here to um to have ease my aching chest because I didn't take the bloody tablet this morning. So shouldn't be eating too late, really. How is everyone's reading going? We're about to go into the um we're about to go into the final hour. Um have people read much? I didn't actually re notice how much I'd read. I said I had about 150 pages left. I think I've read about maybe 50, maybe a bit less, maybe 40 pages of that. Um and then we're going to go into this. Yeah, what have I loved off the Women's Prize long list so far? Um, loved Great Circle, absolutely loved it. And had already read, I can't remember the name of it, but somebody said that they were reading it. The Build Your House Around My Body. I'd already read that and enjoyed that. So those are the books that I've loved from the women's prize long list so far um there's some of that 34 pages though he's read your true shelf hi sarah has read 35 pages left of pine by francine too looking forward to finishing it book club bit pick two stars so far yeah i had the same i listened to it i didn't have it as a book club pick but i listened to it on audio um and i'd heard sort of like good hype about it and i found it boring and like didn't always know what was going on so uh, Lucy said, I've, I've only read about 30 pages, enjoying the chatting and the coziness. Yeah, I know. The, when we do these live ones, there's always so much less reading compared to when I vlog them. But it's nice to have a chat, isn't it? And to have a chat with like like-minded bookish friends. I've had it independently verified and I've read 77 pages of Remote Sympathy. How is Remote Sympathy, Charles? Is it as miserable as the blurb leads me to believe? Um, I'm waiting for my reservation to come in at the library. I'm second. I always read slower in the evenings. I joined in late, so I'm only 14 pages into this is the start uh, in in this is the start of my spring break, and I'm dog sitting my mum's dog. How lovely! Maria says I'm just finishing, going to carry on reading the book. Or I'm just joining, just go, going to carry on reading the book of form and emptiness. Enjoy. 34 pages. Becky's read, and now I'm hoping I can push on and finish this book. Chris says I've read about 40 pages of Baptism of Fire. Rovin says, Sarah's here, your true self. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be finishing my current novel, The Old Will Willis Place, a pretty cute middle grade horror, lovely. Sender Quint book said, I adored Build Your House um, Around My Body. Spent nearly the entire reading thinking, I hope the long listed books are this interesting. Yeah, I really liked it. And I've, it was a novel of sort of two halves, really, because the, the first sort of like half really builds up stuff and you never know like um, what's gonna be, what's gonna be important and what's not. Here comes my cup of tea from my, oh, and my mango. Could I have a, um, could Kitchen I have, roll. no, a, um, spoon. passion fruit and a spoon, please. Passion fruit? Yeah, there's some on the side in a packet. I think that might oh, be yeah, a bit yeah. more. Yeah, I might, because I don't know if this mango might be a bit not right. Well, I reacted to this, so I've never heard of passion, passion, passion fruit. fruit. Fucking passion fruit. And it's annoying. Bought passion fruits today in nature's own packaging. It doesn't even get damaged. And yet yeah, they're in a fucking... Plastic packet. Ridiculous. Right. Um, yeah, so uh, Build My House Around the Body, a novel of two halves in that it, yeah, the first half I was sort of, oh, David, can I have a smaller spoon? That won't, yeah. that won't even go in. <laughs> like a big, massive serving spoon. <laughs> Tiny baby spoon. Oh, the vegetarian butcher are bringing out a frozen range. Oh, good. Is it one of those chicken burger things? Yeah, happy go clucky. Yeah. yeah Pat you on the back. back. And little peckers. Oh, they're like um, like, like, like little willies. Oh, nice. Yes, I very much enjoyed Build My House Around Your Body. It's a novel of two halves. The first half was very sort of slow. In a not sort of like, I don't mean that negatively way. I was sort of like, because a lot of stuff happens, but you're thinking all like, 
why are you telling me this stuff about all these people? And then in the second half, it's just literally like action packed fucking mental action with like all the people that you thought you didn't know were important in the first half come back to haunt you in some way. Hmm, in joke for those who have read it. Um, I've just started early morning rise of 50 pages in and loving it. Lucy also wants some feedback about remote sympathy. Um, love the book of form and emptiness, says Joan. Reading the exhibitionist, and I just want to throw it out the window. May DNF. Homegrown Education, I've just listened to the audiobook of it. I've never hated a character so much as I hated Ray in The Exhibitionist. He is a piece of shit. <laughs> and it, it, I see throughout reading it, it, it almost it like made me not enjoy my reading experience so much because I just thought him, and particularly his daughter sort of pandering to him, were just so awful. I couldn't really get much, intro, uh, much um, sort of enjoyment out of it. So yeah, I would say if you're not enjoying it now, it doesn't get any better. And I was sort of hoping for some sort of like real comeuppance and resolution at the end. And it's not quite the sort of comeuppance and resolution I was hoping for. Charles is here with the remote sympathy uh, feedback. And he says, I mean, I'd say yes, remote sympathy equals a bit miserable. Uh, Danielle started the Liars Dictionary. I had to give that back to the library today because somebody else had a reservation on it. I've still, I've got that up on the library before and I had to give it back for the same reason just finished moon of the crusted snow lovely those asking about remote sympathy amazing but very sad and upsetting to read says sarah um i did not get on with the exhibitionist also charles i'm late i'm sorry you look very cozy i'm reading the housekeeper and the professor welcome sarah um siobhan says hey lauren reading early morning riser by Catherine heine i've read about 50 pages i think i have early morning riser or maybe i got it out on audio i don't thank you oh i've got in my father noel cup there he is father noel for a week. Not far enough. Um, yes, me and Charlie want to throw the exhibitionist out of the window. Yes, me and Charlie want to throw the exhibitionist out of the window too. Centre Quentin Books says currently reading Book of Form and Emptiness. It's good, but I'm not liking it if it makes sense. The 14 year old is so creepy towards his crush, and his mum's whole character is fat and sad. Um, yeah, I agree with what you've said, Centre um, Centre Quentin Books, about that. But I will say that um, it's sort of. Yeah, I can't really say much without sort of giving away spoilers, but yes, I agree with what you said. I still ended up very much enjoying that book, though. Charles said, uh, remote sympathy, the author can certainly craft a yarn, but given the historical contents, and while nothing much has happened yet, there's a bit of an ominous, sad tone. And Naira, let me know if I'm saying your name right. I'm getting myself into reading Jane Austen, and I'm reading Pride and Prejudice at the moment. I've only ever read Lady Susan by her before, and absolutely loved it. What are your thoughts on Austen? Babes! in june so in the past few years i've done um sort of i've read a classic um and then read um retellings of that classic so the first ever year i did it i did june air where i read jane air and then retellings of jane air the second year i did it i did pride and prejune dis last year i did little Wim may not my best play on words this year i'm doing june austin and i'm going to be reading some jane austen books and some retellings of jane austen books so I'll have more thoughts on Jane Austen there. And if you want to join in in June Austen, then please do. Um, Melanie said, I actually found Remote Sympathy a real page turner. I was daunted by the size of it, but actually threw through it because the poet plot was so good. Um, I described Ray as an arsehole throughout the listening of The Exhibitionist. An absolute arsehole. Piece of shit. I hated him. Glad it's not just me who hates it. My move on, may move on to Creatures of Passage or The Paper Palace. I got The Paper Palace out on audio and sent it back because I wasn't getting on with it. So I'm hoping I get on a bit better with the book version of it. He That's bet. at the library. Here he is. Um, Sorry, read about 20 pages of How Much of These Hills is Gold. I just finished Island of Missing Trees. Loved and I'm starting to read Paper Palace. Also loved. Good to start my reading of the long list. Yeah, good. I've, um, I'm waiting for my Island of Missing Trees. I think I'm going to get it on audio. Do you reckon I can throw this up and catch it again? No. No. Um, I'm patiently holding out for the paperback of Great Circle since it's such a chunky boy. It is chunky. It's hard to hold up in the bath. From reviews of the rest of the list, I think I'll enjoy that one the most. Can't wait for you to read Creatures of Passage. I really liked it. Is the exhibitionist like Succession? Felicia, I actually thought that when I was reading it. I mean, it, in some ways, it is nothing like Succession. But the way they pander to this sort of like patriarch figure is exactly like Succession. Exactly like it. Really looking forward to June Austin. Good. Artichokes are so delicious. You dip each leaf into mayonnaise or lemon butter after it's seemed to be really soft. Oh, yum. I'll join on on June Austin. I'm reading one of hers each month. These <coughs> this month, so I'll be on Persuasion by then. Oh, good. Check out, if you're interested in reading a, a re, uh, retelling of it, there's a book by a Sonali Dev called Recipes for Persuasion. I've got the Pride and Prejudice one up there that I didn't read. Pride, Prejudice and Other Flavours. Um... 
I listened to the exhibitionist and really enjoyed it, but totally understand why others would dislike it. The characters are hideous, but I thought that was kind of the point. I'm watching some of the adaptations alongside too. Yeah, I think I will as well. There's going to be a big Jane Austen adaptation out this year. Love and Friendship, I think, is being made. Maybe it's Love and Friendship. It might actually be Persuasion. Um, regarding to Jane Austen, I read the first few chapters of Sense and Sensibility tonight, and I'm desperately hoping it will be better than Mansfield Park, which I found super boring last month. Oh, no. Looking forward to June Austen. Rufus Ecke can really write. I enjoyed the reading experience very much, but the actual narrative is sad face. Um, for what it's worth, I read Tale for the Time Being just last week, and that was fantastic. Some of the books on the uh, Women's Prize long list are so long this year. So many. I wonder if that's why they've called it the long list. <laughs> Sonny, do you just want to get back to your book? A little bit. Let's have a look. The Persuasion movie is out this year. Yes, Dakota Johnson in Persuasion. Lovely. Right, okay, so it is almost nine o'clock. Shall we have a 15 minute sesh? 20 minute. 20 minute sesh. Then 10 minute chat. Then 15 minute and then round up. And then we've done over an hour of reading, which yeah. is good good boys and girls stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay, cool. Okay, so let's uh, see you on the other side of... Are you excited? Yeah. I'm so happy. And what page are you on? Uh, 36. You wanted to get to 100 today? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, cool, right. Okay, cool. Let's, um, let's crack on then, shall we? I think what I need to do, I need to stop going back and rereading things because... I do that a lot, and ultimately, the things that I reread are not really that important. So. All right. Cool. I'll just chop this in half. So, see you in 20 minutes, guys. I don't want to spill it, though. Mango. Character on the block. Oh. decided it was okay to eat does, does that mean anything um no what are their names the two people i don't even know well femi's one of them femi and charlotte oh so it's not initials then is it maybe just keep a thought on it oh i can't remember no, david oh, i read it such a long time ago oh, okay, i can't yeah. even remember who was murdered and who did the murder cool
this is a really sharp passion fruit. Mm. Space over here.
He's golfing. God, I love this so much. So good. Sorry.
Mm-hmm. So, um, Sarah Jane had to lie to the guy singing at Poppy's Ball, <laughs> saying that um, she was going blind and she really loves him. But the family found it really funny, and it's and the ball's about to start. So the doctor, who was representing them at the charity, had to, had to pull out because she'd be basically been told she's not allowed to represent herself. She's not allowed to be seen like promoting this for a specific charity so she's had to pull out but yeah it's, it's very good i'm going to crack open my favorite Loves an Easter egg.
we're at 20 past David, so if you just want to read to a part where you can stop, you can bear to. How many pages have you read? Uh, I'm up to 60. Oh, wow. So do you think you'll get to 100 tonight then? Yeah, I think so. Do you think you might read some in bed instead of watching TikToks? No. No, you're always going to watch TikToks. Well, I'll do a bit of reading and I'll, I'll do both. Are it's you all right just to talk to your mates while I go to the toilet? Absolute positivity looping. Absolute positivity. Chuck them over. You're going over to David. Hi, everyone. Here's my baby. More questions, please. Not too many because we're only having a little 10 minute break. But not too many because I, I keep looking at I keep looking at the camera on the um on the laptop thing I'm talking talking to that. Would you like another cup of tea for the last half hour, David? Of course, always want another cup of tea. I'll come back for your mug in a minute. Ooh. And a wee wee. I mean I haven't got enough hands. She hasn't got enough hands. How are we all getting on? Uh, I am, somebody's asked, uh, maybe Books has asked, are you enjoying your book so far? I am loving it. It's not often that um, I get a book that makes me as excited as this. And yeah, as I said earlier, like, I'm a bit of a gossip and, well, I, and I'm a bit of a nosy bugger. So this is just like, just reading everybody's business and I love it. Do you also watch TV shows, David? Do you think you could give us a top three of TV shows? Oh, God, that does change. Because, like, Gap, like, of all times, it would be, like, Gavin and Stacey. Like, oh, I, although I watched, I watched the US office for the first time this year. I started in January, and I watched some of my lunch breaks, and, like, and, and I think I'd done the whole, all ten series. I think in about... Six, seven weeks. Absolutely loved it. It's one of the best series of TV I've ever seen. So I definitely put the US office in my top three. I loved it so much, I'm always tempted to start again from the beginning. Well, maybe not from the first series, because the first series was rubbish where it was China when it was trying to intimidate the UK series. But once it went off on its own, down its own path, it was really, really good. What else? Our succession. We've absolutely adored succession. That's been a real... A real treat to watch this year or last year and into this year that's been very good what else what else do I love to watch hmm well I'd, I'd tell you like we've been I was very excited for Peaky Blinders but I must say I've been a bit disappointed with the latest series hasn't grabbed me as much as as usual um, yeah I've not found it very Peaky Blinder-ish. So I've not even heard him say, uh, by order of the Peaky Blinders. And I think that's a law. Surely, surely, that's going to be said in the last episode on Sunday. Because the last episode, I think, is, is like 20 minutes longer. So, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it'll go on a, on a bang. Bang! Bang! Um, the appeal makes you feel like a detective, doesn't it? Does it make me feel like a detective yet? Just makes me feel really nosy, but I like that. Uh, is there a film coming out that you're looking forward to? Downton Abbey. Uh, yeah, Downton Abbey. Uh, I'm really excited for uh, Multiverse of Madness, the second Doctor Strange movie. I am, I'm very optimistic about how insanely awesome it's going to be. And, uh, and I quite enjoyed the What If Marvel series, if anybody's watched that. And I think that's going to that's gonna be included quite a lot. Like, there's rumours that there's going to be an alternate Iron Man, which is going to be played by Tom Cruise. Oh, God. Um, who needs that? Yeah, that's true. Who needs that? Old, uh, old Maverick himself from Top Gun. He's a busy boy this year. Um, and, like, the X... Apparently, uh, Dr. X... Is it Dr. Dr. X? Yeah, of course you can. Um, yeah, Dr. Xavier, what's his face, is going to be in it from the X-Men. So I don't know if there's going to be more X-Men in it. Like, oh my God, the, it's, it's crazy, all the, what could potentially happen. Um, 
just for under it. Uh, well done, Lee, saying that's your f Gavin and Stacey is amazing. Uh, Lucy, do you follow film awards like Lauren does with books? If so, were you happy with the Oscar winners this year? Um, I was. I need to be better with watching Oscar movies because let's some of the Oscar films that like I've heard very conflicting um, reviews about the power of the dog. I don't think I'm going to watch it because um, the people whose um, opinions that I value and I feel like are similar to mine, they didn't like it. So I don't think that I've been told with them not to bother. It's a bit boring, but uh, I'm very excited to watch um, Coda who won what won best picture. I'm very excited for that. Um, I saw, um, uh, oh my God, Belfast. I saw an early screening of that. Absolutely loved it. So I was very uh, pleased when uh, Kenneth Branagh won um, original screenplay, I believe. Yeah, so I was super proud of that. Um, but and yeah, and like the whole uh, Will Smith punching Chris Rock was stupid. I did not like it. Um, Didn't you? I think a lot of people really liked it. Yeah. Um, your true shelf has said, "I wish Arthur would get to his old self." Me too. I hope it is. I hope he does as well. Just a last little hurrah from him. Um, oh, do you watch or follow baseball? Oh no! No, I can't say I've ever watched baseball. This is, um, this is caught around the bottom, and I wanted to push on. Oh no! Uh, I can't say I've ever watched you baseball. You don't even care. Just oh, your just, questions. Yeah, I love two questions. I like it. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I don't follow baseball. I am into... Oh, no. Oh, blimey. I'm trying to talk to you to you all, and I keep getting... You haven't snapped it, have you? I hope not. Or has it just come unplugged? I think it's just come unplugged, but I've not unplugged it before. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's just power leave. Um, sorry. Sorry, I'll get back to my question, to my adoring yeah. fans. i am never tried to watch baseball. Love the movie Moneyball, which is based on the baseball team... I can't remember who the baseball team it was based on. But I'm more into, I'm getting into NFL and I follow the New Orleans Saints because I, I quite I like them a lot. And and they're coming over to London this year to to play one of their NFL games. So I'm praying that I'm going to be able to get tickets to go and see it. You know what I mean, I'm hoping they play a bit of a rubbish team and I've got a better chance of tickets. Because if they play a good team, I'm probably not going to have much of a chance. Um, right, let me, any, any more, any no, more, any more. Let's return it. No. The David Wood, the David Show. Yeah. I feel like I've really uh, hit hit my stride with that now. With what? Chatting and... Chatting. I had a couple of moments where I was a bit silent, but we got through it, didn't we, everyone? We got through it. Right, okay. So, we are now just before half past... Nine. Oh. Shall we have 15 minutes? Do you need the toilet, David? No, okay. Need a wee wee. Shall we have 15 minutes of reading and then we'll have a 15 minute wrap up and catch up at the end? Wrap up and catch up, I've baby. got a question to ask you about pens. Don't let me forget. Me? <laughs> no, my the um, the viewers. If there's any pen experts. I'm going to take my hoodie off. Well, you will. I'm getting hot. Do you think you're getting all agitated because of the appeal? Oh my god, it could be that. Right, cool. Let's get back. I won't to strip off on I'll, camera. I'll wait until Dave is back because I'm only allowed to read when he's reading. Oh god, I'm getting hot. It's all the excitement of answering questions and reading books that I like. Good. I don't think I want the blanket on me. No, you don't have to. Thank you. Right, you're right, allowed to read. On. I'm allowed to read.
Johnny coming over here. Oh, did you finish up the rest of her dinner? Don't let me settle. Oh, oh, you wanted cuddles. That's the loudest person I've ever heard. They're having a lovely time. Sorry, Minnie, I'm just going to have a sip of my drink, if mm. that's all right. I'll be right back.
Don't move Minty. What did you say? I'm annoyed that I want you to know something.
David, you want to read to a point where you can start? Yeah, I've just got this page. I love it when I just find myself like... So what page did you get to, David? So on 76. Amazing. So I'll, I'll read up to 100 today. Mm. And you've been enjoying it? Yeah. You really like it? Yeah. What do you like about it? It's just... Just these little things, isn't there, that you're like, oh, that's a bit weird. Yeah. Like what? So the first one is... So they've just paid for the first batch... So for the initial like treatment, it's like thing. experimental treatment, isn't it? Yeah. And because they needed to raise two hundred fifty thousand, so he's like, right, we've got the first one hundred twenty-five thousand, and then he's emailed this Martin, the the granddad, has emailed everyone, basically saying, yep, yeah, we've done it, but we still need another two hundred thousand. It's like, well, you don't. That's not what you said. So, and then the initial email reply to that was from Sarah, being like, you don't need that much. Like, have we missed something here? Because we've, we've got like, we only need like another, it was something like £90,000 instead. So. It's all happening, isn't it? It is all happening. There we go, what we got here. Estelle did dip out for an hour to watch the great British menu meal and winner yeah don't tell us we're going to watch it afterwards yeah we're, we're very excited, excited about, about that um a book fiend named Mel says I was going to read more than three I was going to read more than three pages but I was forced to snuggle a cat instead that's not a bad thing we've all been there did everybody hear Minnie purring like the cutest baby <laughs> Estelle said but I've loved hanging out with you Lauren are you going to change the YouTube profile picture yeah I will do at some point. It's a long old time ago. I can't remember how long I've had. I've had blonde uh -huh. hair for a long time. My YouTube picture is me with brown hair from quite some time ago. But um, yeah, I mean, I um, I will get round to doing it. I keep saying I'm going to, but oh, I don't yeah. think it's at a detriment to my channel that I um, that I haven't changed it. It's still God. it's still there. Uh, no spoilers, David. I've ordered it to come for in oh, Prime sorry. tomorrow. Okay, we should have said spoilers. Uh, yeah. Major Books says this was lovely. Hi, first cosy reading night for me. I'm reading The Binding by Bridget Collins. I very much enjoyed. Was it The Binding by Bridget Collins or was it another one I read by Bridget Collins? Mr. Collins! Mr. Oh, Minnie doesn't like Mr. Collins. Goodbye, Minnie. Sorry. Sorry. Um, Danielle said, well, I'm very much enjoying the Lies Dictionary. Glad I started it. Gutted that I, um, that I had to give it back at the library today. I've got it out from the library about three times and just never got round to doing it. Can I, have you, can you reach my library books, David, from where you are? No. You absolutely can. They're in a bag. No. Can you just pass them to me? I'm <laughs> too heavy. Yeah, you have to be a brave girl. I want to show you what I got. If you can't, if you really can't, don't no, worry. No, that's far too heavy. Oh, I won't show you what I've got. Maybe I'll show you another day. Um, I couldn't hear Minnie purring because Peanut was purring in my ear instead. Uh -huh. Peanut is a lovely name. Look at our little Peanut. Sometimes I call her Pea Head because she's got such a small head under all her fluff. Mm. Oh, look, my tummy's hanging right out. That's Ooh. not nice for anyone to look at. Yeah, it's, it's cute tummy. Mm. Oh, you've absolutely panicked then. You should <laughs> see you do. Um, thanks for the lovely evening. I'm eight pages away from the end of my book. Congratulations, Emily. Um, so glad I managed to catch the tail end of this. Oh, good. I finished Pine, still two star. Yeah, I agree, Sarah. Books and jams. I hopped on here at the end. I'm reading the Net Galley book called Games in a Ballroom, and I'm loving it. It's filling the Bridgerton-shaped hole in my life. Oh, love it. Have you read the Bridgerton books? Um, I've read to play with? the first and the second. I think I'm going to listen to the third 
once I've watched the second series so I know what to expect. Um, but I haven't even watched the second series. I might watch it next week. Is Minnie playing with the game? Don't make sure she doesn't eat that. Um, no, it's too big. Thanks, you two. I've had a lovely evening. Have been in a massive reading slump. This has helped me get back into the reading. Yeah, I don't really will. For David, who um, can take ages to read a book, I think these books, these are good for you, aren't they, in terms of like knowing that you've got more reading to do. Yeah. And I'm intrigued about this other one. What was, the, what was the name of the other one? Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Or are you going to try the second Janice Hallett? Well, maybe, but the fact that you and a lot of the people who have read it have said it's shit. Well, Joe and Emma both really liked it. Oh, did they? Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll give it a go. Maybe. It's 7.30 in the morning here in Australia. Good morning. Good morning. Erin said, read em Empress and Ania, loved it, then had a little lay down. Yeah, I read that last year. I really enjoyed it. Or did I listen to it? I think I listened to it. I bought it, but I actually ended up listening to it. Uh, this was my first cosy reading evening and the real highlight of my week in isolation. Any plans for future cosy reading? Yeah, so I do these um, seasonally. So the next one will be a summer cosy reading night, summer probably. Uh, before, we've done we've done summer cosy reading night in David's um, parents' garden before and I would like to go back there if possible um, because they've got a very nice sort of summery garden. You do get yeah. a bit eaten alive though, don't you? You do. But it's all very weather dependent because you can plan for good weather here and then it ends up being shit weather. Although your mum and dad have got... The bits that, so if it rained, we'd be covered. Yeah, there'll be a summer one, don't worry. Oh, there's also gonna be a um, Patreon one. Oh, actually, <laughs> there'll be a summer one, but there's also gonna be an independent bookshop week one, which will be going ahead in June. And I'm gonna do a Patreon one for all my Patreons as well. So, um, oh, yeah. my Patreons! Oh, my Patreons! And that'll be like this, but smaller, because it'll be just Patreons. Um, I binged all the Bridgerton books after watching the first season last year. Lovely. Um, I'm back, ducked out for MasterChef. What was the pen question? Thank you so much, Annika. Right, so. Well, I forgot. I forgot as well. And I kept thinking to myself, oh, you must ask that pen question at the end. Annika, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, so this is a pen. I'm left-handed, and not only am I left-handed, I've been bitten on my knee by something. Not only am I left-handed, I'm also a bit cack-handed. So when I write, I write, I don't write like this, like normal people do. Sorry, Minnie, you're not gonna like this. I write. What, are you going to write on it? No, I write, so normal people write with the pen like there, don't they? I don't, I write like this. I write like that. Do you? What, like this? I act, well, actually, no, I write, well, not that I ever do, I write like that. That's sort of how you should write, though. Yeah, but not when I'm... Yeah, so when I write, my hand drags across, I yeah, don't write below, does. my hand drags across all of the, right, all of the things. So this pen that I've got, which comes free with one of my paper gang books, it's been the best pen I've ever had. Not only is it lovely and neat and sharp and fine. Let me show you some writing in there. Anything. Um, I'm trying to show you something. Oh, I'll show you my TBR. Um, yeah, so not only does it write lovely and neat. I'm just showing you now, but it might not even be zoomed in. No, it's not. Maybe I'll go over here. Maybe yeah, you've got to cover up faces. If I cover up faces, is that better? Yeah. It doesn't smudge when I write across it. And I really like it. Now, I've still got about half the pen left, but because it was sent to me on a uh, paper game box, and do you know what? It wasn't even sent to me as part of a paper game box. It was sent to me as a, sorry, your paper game box was late for the third month in a row. So this pen doesn't exist anywhere pen. else. I want pens like this. Anyone who knows about pens, where can I get a ballpoint? It's not a biro, it's like an ink in there. It looks like a ballpoint in black, something like that. Any pen recommendations where I can get the pen from? Um, please do a video once you've watched season two of Bridgerton. Oh, lovely. Thank you for tonight. It's been a lovely distraction from life and its worries. Oh, you're welcome, Danielle. Um, Charles says, okay, I've just discovered that the Twyford code is nothing to do with toilets. <laughs> Uh, it's been so nice hanging out with you. I wish these were daily. Yeah, I know, I do miss doing them so regularly, but it's always lovely to have something nice to look forward to, isn't it? I'm just gonna see if any of you pen lovers out there have good pens. These are also very good. So these are, so the Paper Gang subscription, I could never get rid of it because not only do you get good pads and stuff, you get really good pens. These, um, these three highlighters, absolutely gorgeous. What else absolutely have gorgeous. Little things, all of these things are, these weren't so fun. Um, for pens, Mu Muji would recommend Friction Black Fine Liner. I'm writing all these down. I'm gonna write them down on a little bit here. 
don't know where I'm going to buy one because I'm on a low buy year this year, aren't I? So Muji, I mean, this will last for another month, I hope, or Friction Black Eyeliner. Oh, see you. Cool, right, okay. Thank you for those two recommendations. You just know when you've just got a pen that you've really bonded with, and I just don't. Have you, well, David, you've had exactly that. It was one of the diabetes pens from work you really bonded with. And do you remember those hexagonal ones we bought from, what was that shop, Hema? Do you remember those two? I had a coral one and you had a gold one in the hexagonal shaped oh, ones and they wrote nice. Yeah, they were beautiful. Yeah, they weren't as good as this. Muji pens. Oh, Not I love your, those diabetes pens. Muji pens, somebody else saying Muji pens are the best. Maybe, oh, Uniball Power Tank from Colt Pens. I won't use anything else, let's have a look. Uniball power. Uniball. Oh, me. Power tank. Oh my god, it's all kicking off. From Colt Pens. Who knew I'd get to the point in my life where there was only one pen that I wanted to use? Yeah. Ordinarily, I use these guys. You know, the Bic Biros that have got the three, di the four different colours. And at work, um, whenever I've uh, made a mistake or something, I can. I always. Everyone always knows it's me because I'm the only one who writes in purple pen. And me and my work colleagues say, purple oh, pen. purple pen on that. Purple pen. <laughs> purple pen on that. Uh, lovely. Right, thank you for those recommendations. I will definitely look into them. So we're in the last four minutes of Cozy Reader Night. It's been really, really nice. Thanks for joining us for the first Cozy Reader Night of 2022. As I said, there are some upcoming Cozy Reader Nights. There is the Independent Bookshop Week Cozy Reader Night. I can't remember the date of that, but I can tell you there'll be more... Um, Hi, Jinx. There'll be more details about it because they're doing me some wonderful Not art, like artwork, as they always do. And um, Dave and I will be going to an independent bookshop to get our TBRs. God, um, is it like that time yeah, of year again already? The 25th of June. There's also going to be a Patreon Cozy Reader Night. So if you're a member of my Patreon, there'll be one of those coming up. We did one for Christmas as well. Just as an extra thank you, it's to all my Patreons. There's three different tiers and everyone can join in for this one. Then there will be a Summer Cozy Reader Night, probably around August. Um, so yeah, a couple of cosy reading nights on the come up. Um, very much Mr. looking Muffins. forward to them. Uh, thank you, Lauren and David. Really enjoyed this. Thank you, Lucy. Have a great rest of your evening. Thank you, Slick Tight. Yeah, we're going to go and watch um, great the menu. Great British Menu. And then I expect my boyfriend David is going to want to do a bit more reading. No, TikTok time. TikTok time. Do some TikTok time stuff. TikTok time. Um, don't mean. I don't know. Change it with the time. TikTok time. Mm. What's your favourite thing you've ever learned from TikTok? How to do your um, dressing gown up. Yeah, that's... I love it. that you do your dressing gown up like that. It's been a grand way to spend a Friday night, so thank it's you It's been a lovely, organizing. lovely evening. I've it's been a lovely it. evening. It's been really, really nice. I've been looking forward to it all week, you know. And yeah, I think we'll call it a day there. We're two minutes early, but yeah, we're not. we've all done everything we need to say. I shall As they say in one of my work meetings, you. you can have that time back to do whatever you want. Oh. To catch up on some other emails or some other work. David, in the last two minutes, would you be so kind as to press the cross in the corner of the video so I don't have to get up because I'm just so comfy here? I can. See you all again soon for another booktube video. Sunday, in fact, David and I are filming a video with some bookish, uh, with some movie questions in, which I'm very much looking forward to. So say good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.